first film was not good enough to warrant a sequel, but we got one anyway with Hot Tub Time Machine 2. The film is that bad that even John Cusack didn't come back for the sequel. Well, yeah, he came back for a cameo in the unrated cut, but you get my point. The absence of John Cusack means we are left with some very, very unlikable characters. I kept hoping the whole cast would just flicker away because of the timey-wimey butterfly effect of enough people not liking this movie. No? Was that wishful thinking? The need to show genitals for no reason at all and have women walk around with their tits out really says it all. At least I thought this was the indication of how low a movie could get until the scary moment when you realise that we are living in a time where people playing out a rape scene is supposed to be funny. You know the leader of like a teenage gang that thinks he's hilarious but he has to repeat his joke to prompt the rest of the gang to laugh? This is that film. Back in the 90s, I wonder if Christian Slater foresighted that he would be in a film called Hot Tub Time Machine 2, where he plays a game show host. Just like Slater's career, the film feels like a constant downhill fall where you are anxiously waiting for that painful crash. Sit this one out and watch the film instead that they have tried to copy. Back to the Future 2. At least that film is funny and I don't have to witness a single dick or boob. Want to see more movie reviews from 2015? Just click on the link here and don't forget to thumbs up the video and leave a comment in the box below. What did you think of Hot Tub Time Machine 2? And don't forget to subscribe to Leah Have a Reviews.